Fellas, AC here. Welcome to another review. I'm talking about a blue scent. Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. Now this one came out in 2017 and I think if I'm not mistaken the perfumer is Daniela Roche Andrea. I could be wrong, just from memory. And I've been wearing this fragrance today and a couple of days ago. It was warm, today it's hot, swelteringly hot. And this one was absolutely delighting me all day. So I thought I'd review this. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of blue scents. But when it comes to Prada, I really like the design of fragrances. And this one is no exception. This fragrance is one of those fragrances that is like a peppy number. Think of a song that you really like. And whenever you play that number, it lifts you up. This is the fragrance. It is a massive pick-me-up. I enjoy this fragrance. Even more because it's been hot. Two consecutive days, proper hot. And I loved it. So, what is this all about? It's all about Ambroxan. But if you look at the notes breakdown, you wouldn't see it. When you spray it, it reminds you of one of the fragrances which I don't like, Sauvage. And this one is basically Sauvage a bit more polite, a bit more elegant, a bit more sophisticated, and a bit more social. Yeah, It's not as sharp and as um, sort of aggressive as Sauvage, but it reminds you of Sauvage. So basically this is Prada's take on Sauvage. But the fragrance changes a lot. So what does Sauvage have? A lot of pepper, a lot of lavender, but not the kind of lavender you're used to, and tremendous amounts of Amroxan, sweet, sour, sharp. Now this one isn't sharp, but it's sweet and sour, with a healthy dose of lavender, less pepper. But this is where the similarities with Sauvage ends. After about half an hour, this fragrance is its own fragrance. And what comes to the fore is bergamot. Very nice bergamot, mixed with a herbal green a delicate lavender. It doesn't smell like lavender essential oil. It has no sharpness, no rough edges. It's very smooth and green and delicate, very delicate, mixed with, and when I say delicate, think of a very delicate shrub, green shrub. You can pinch it with your fingers, that sort of delicate, and bergamot. There's also a little metallic aspect to it, but I don't get it too much and I don't get it too many times when it's really hot I don't get it when it's in between weather that's when I get it so that's the green lavender bergamot journey which basically lasts for the entire lifetime there are many notes like coal uh, or anthracite I should say um, soil tincture I don't get any of that all I get is beautiful delicate lavender bergamot combination maybe some pepper and ambroxan obviously and that's the whole scent, you know, it doesn't change a lot. Uh, maybe sometimes I get a little whiff of woody vetiver kind of a smell. And maybe that's what they've used as a fixative. That's all. The fragrance doesn't change a lot. But the fragrance does a lot. So pros and cons. Number one pro. As I said, it's a very peppy number. It's a number which you put on and you feel good about yourself. This is a real pick-me-up. It's a very nice fragrance borrowed the idea has been borrowed from a fragrance which is 50 50 right people either like it or dislike it the sauvage not my favorite but it's based on that and they've provided a beautiful soapy kind of a veneer around it and made it more delicate made it more natural smelling more um comforting if you like yeah it's really comfortable very easy to wear so that's the number one pro number uh, number two would be the price point see sauvage is a dior you wouldn't get it for less than 75 pounds for 100 ml. You can get this on eBay, if you look around, for 40 pounds, full bottle. And when you, <coughs> excuse me, when you spray it a lot, you wouldn't feel as if you are wearing an expensive fragrance, so you should watch the sprays. And you would want to spray it again and again. That's the kind of fragrance this is. So that's the number two uh, pro, if you like. The value for money is pretty high because of the price point and the quality of the scent. Lavender fragrances are divisive. Uh, most people are afraid of lavender because that might make them smell like an old man because lavender was the most prolific note used in the 70s, 80s and 90s in the masculine fragrances. 
Here, it's just completely different interpretation of lavender, which I actually love as well. I like the 70s as well, but this one here is a beautiful green, delicate lavender with bergamot, which really enthuses me. Number three, performance. This thing lasts and lasts and lasts on your skin for a long, long time. Projection, not too bad. At least an arm's length for about two and a half, three hours, and then recedes half arm's length, but never dies down. After about five or six hours, it sits close to the skin. So projection, you would say is pretty good for a summer scent. Sage, brilliant. Put it under your shirt, you'll see for yourself. You just have to move and you're reminded of this beautiful scent. Soapy, masculine, modern scent. Very, very nice. Downsides, number one downside has to be, it's nothing spectacular, but I don't think it was created to be spectacular. It was created so that you can have a utility scent based on a very popular fragrance. So some people might think, oh, this is not as special as, let's say, uh, Prada Lom Lo or Prada Amber Perron, which are quite special. I mean, it's a beautiful journey, but this one has its own place, in my opinion. Uh, number two, um, I don't know, uh, maybe uh, you couldn't wear this to special occasions, but this is a utility scent. So if you really like it, if you wear it to a special occasion, you wouldn't stand out. So that's the downside if you like. It's not one of those fragrances that you can wear to a special occasion just because you love it. But apart from that one instance, you can wear this anywhere. Interviews, office, you know, first date, maybe not uh, first date, uh, maybe not clubbing, but social occasions. It's such a friendly, approachable, beautiful fragrance. You can wear this to your friends gathering. Amazing, man. Just have to live in a hot country or bring it out in hot weather you will shine. So, age groups. This is based on Sauvage. Sauvage was created for the younger generation. I would say 25 plus, quite easily. Quite easily, it's very, very pleasant. Yeah, a lot of happiness comes to my mind when I uh, smell this fragrance. So definitely 25 plus, if not 20 plus, is the age group, right age group. Um, weather, warm weather. So spring, summer. Summer, preferably. It smells much nicer when it's warm. It smells amazing at the moment. It's lovely, it's juicy as well. There's this juiciness in this fragrance, which I really enjoy. Slightly aquatic as well. So aquatic juiciness is what makes this fragrance so special on a hot day. Um, compliment factor, definitely. I Personally, I haven't received any, but there is a lot of scope for compliment when you wear a fragrance like this, because it's so clean, elegant, Huggable, approachable, nothing obnoxious about it, very suave as well, very elegant. So, compliment factor, definitely. Um, I think I've covered all aspects, haven't I? Price point, I've covered everything. So, marks out of 10, 7 out of 10, very, very good utility scent, yeah? Everyday scent, pick me up, kind of a scent. Brilliant. 7 out of 10, hope you enjoy the review, fellas. Take care. Bye bye.